In this lecture, we're going to discuss normal and delayed puberty in children. So in order to understand normal puberty, we should start off with the Tanner stages. The Tanner stages are stages of pubertal development that we use to measure so that we can also talk about how developed a patient is in terms of their puberty. Let's go through the Tanner stages for boys. Tanner 1 is no, no pubic hair at all. Tanner 2 is the growth of pubic hair, typically just a few hairs, a countable number. Tanner 3 is easy to remember as too many to count. If there's so many pubic hairs you couldn't count them, 50, 100, that's probably Tanner 3. Tanner 4 is when there is a full amount of pubic hair around the genitalia, but none that's going up the ramus or down onto the thighs. And Tanner 5 is the full adult amount of pubic hair. You can also notice that the penis is growing and the testicles are growing. That's to be expected. And there is an orchometer where you can actually measure size of testes. Girls progress in a similar manner. Tanner 1 is no pubic hair. Tanner 2 is scant pubic hair. Tanner 3 is too many to count. Tanner 4 is a full amount of pubic hair around the genitalia. And Tanner 5 is pubic hair with hair extending down the thighs or up the ramus. In girls, we also score breast development. These are also called Tanner stages. And to be clear, if a girl is Tanner 3 in her genitalia, that does not necessarily mean she is Tanner 3 in her breasts. Typically, the breasts develop a little bit earlier. Tanner 1 breast is a normal, flat, contiguous areola with the skin and no breast development at all. This typically stays this way until about the age of 10. Then, a patient develops a slight mound and a widening of the areola. This usually happens between 10 and around 11 and a half. Then, a child develops what we call mound on mound, where the breast bud is sitting on top of the underlying tissue. This typically happens around maybe 11 and a half to 13. Then, the breast continues to grow a little bit further, develops further, the areola darkens a bit, and this typically happens around the age of 13 to 15. After 15, we typically expect the fully developed breast, which is Tanner 5. So, let's look at some areas where things go wrong, where puberty isn't quite going as we would expect, and we might need to make an intervention. This is the first disorder that I would mention, which is really not a disorder, but a variation of normal. Here's a child who is 18 months of age. It's a girl. The mom has brought her in because she has begun growing, growing breasts. And as I stated before, it's normal to be Tanner 2 around the age of 10. And this child's only 18 months of age. A full exam notes that the child has Tanner 2 breasts, but the genitalia are Tanner 1. In other words, there is no pubic hair at all. This child is growing and developing normal. The diagnosis here is benign premature thelarchy. This is a benign condition where children start growing breasts very early, but no other signs of puberty are evident. If this happens, there's actually nothing that needs to be done, simply reassurance. Here's an example of a child with benign premature thelarchy. You can see the breasts are starting to develop, but this child has no other sequelae of puberty. So it's a completely benign condition. Breast development is early. There is no genitalia development. Reassurance is indicated, and no testing is needed.